Hey, what's going on? Travis Red again, just hitting you guys up with another video. If you're new to my channel, welcome. So guys, the energy right now is just insane. It just feels so uncomfortable. Everything is just so uncomfortable, man. Um, and I was talking to my brethren earlier and she was like, oh yeah, do some readings on yourself just to see where your energy is at and blah, blah, blah. And funny enough, um, she must have read my energy or whatever because I just bought a new pack of cards, man. So I was like, ah, right, cool. So yeah, um, I'm gonna uh, give the collective a reading to see what is going on. And th these cards are, they're called situations. So whatever situation, we'll see what situations are coming up for everyone. Let me send you guys some blessings. Peace, love, light, oneness, unity, abundance, health, healing, acceptance, forgiveness. Alright, first of all, yeah, wait, hold on. <laughs> I've got a whole vibe going on over here. Look, I've got the whole setup going on. Sorry, I just got to show you a lot in it. Like, every time I do a reading, I get my setup sorted out, so everything's just popping nice. I've just got some new bacor. I'm trying to work with the elements more as well. So yeah, that's my whole whole setup for now, boy. Crystals and everything. Cleanse the 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 cards. And yeah, all right, cool. So yeah, I'm just in. I don't know. The energy is just weird. So I'm just going with it anyway. All right, cool. Nothing is letting off there, smoke, but it's great. All right, let's see what's popping with the collective these situation cards <clears throat> let's see what's popping anyway right, the first card that come out is wish hope praying yearning so you are hoping and praying for something um when you're praying and asking for something the way to receive guidance is by meditating yeah being still and you and you will receive guidance yeah um if you've got a chaotic life and you're really, really busy, you, you ain't, you're going to notice the, the guidance that's being given. Um, your hopes and dreams, they're attainable, but it depends what you want. As long, if you've got, you can have literally anything you want in this reality. Uh, the more energy and attention you put onto something, the more it's going to manifest, yeah? <clears throat> so, um, yeah, and if it's for your highest good, you will, you will have it. Um, if you're finding... Things should flow to you with ease, yeah? If you're finding whatever you're trying to accomplish, there's a lot of obstacles and blockages, that means it's not for you. Things will, if it's for your highest good, you will receive it and you will receive it with ease, yeah? People think you've got to work hard to get what you want. You really don't. If it's meant to be for you, it'll come to you with ease and you won't have to work and break your back trying to get it. The next card is Denial. Not facing truth, irrational reasoning. So some of you, this is just the collective. A lot of the collective are in a state of denial, not facing their truth. So not wanting to face their demons, not wanting to heal, not wanting to just look at themselves. You'll find a lot of people are, they can't sit with themselves. So they're, they'll keep themselves busy in any means by being a workaholic, being at the gym, by being addicted addictions this is where addictions come from because you're trying to escape yourself yeah so once you start facing yourself you don't you don't need the the devices no more should we say because i've been there man <laughs> I, was, I was an alcoholic basically and um not uh you call gun it is substance abuse man smoking weed every day like to suppress your feelings is different than smoking weed to relax so yeah i was abusing the gunja yeah um so yeah, some of you are in a state of denial or some of you are just facing your demons now. And some of you are like in some bargaining phase, like reasoning with someone or something. I'm getting someone. Like someone's feeling quite desperate at the moment or you're feeling very desperate. Someone's feeling desperate in it. Um, maybe, yeah, I don't know. Someone's feeling desperate. And then the next card is intervention, rescue, others involved. So you may be going through like a period of 
feeling like you need res rescuing, like you may feel like the world's on your back, you may be dealing with like very heavy emotions um, and feel like you need saving. But the only person that's gonna come save you is yourself, yeah? No one outside is gonna come save you. No Jesus, Allah, Buddha, Moses, none of them, or aliens or whatever. You need to save yourself, yeah? Your, it's the ascension and the evolution as a species is about owning your shit and standing in your power, not looking externally for, for validation and looking externally for governance. Govern your bamba clark self, yeah? All right. So we're leave, we've left the age of Pisces where everyone was looking externally for like validation and to be governed. Basically, we're in the age of Aquarius now. Yeah. So you, your stuff is coming. The, the, this is why they call it apocalypse. Yeah, because it is the lifting of the veil. Everything is being revealed, revealed. So if you're in a fake ass relationship, if you're trying to keep up with the Joneses, it's all going to fall apart for you guys. Just to let you guys know. Innit? So. Yeah, do your inner work, in it. <laughs> this ain't for my reader. If it, it will resonate or it won't resonate, in it. Just take what resonates, yeah. Is it recip recipients? I don't know how to fucking pronounce that. Recipients, proof, show me. So some of you are wanting proof. I don't know. I'm getting like you think someone may be interested in you or you're interested in someone, but you want to them to show you that they're interested or you need to show that you're interested in them. Some of these could do with some self-care as well. Pamper yourself up. If you've got your eyes on someone or you, someone's got their eyes on you, do yourself up. M show them what, what they're missing or show them what they can have, yeah? But just remember you're a king and queen and you should hold yourself as so, yeah? Mm-hmm, all right. So, yeah, like, none of this, this new generation thing there where you're at, half naked and all that and everything is sexualized i'm talking about the old school thing hold yourself pre presentable in it this is what i'm talking i'm old school in it like man don't like all them girls walking around all naked anyway like like yeah it's good to look at like we can be but that's as far as as it's going yeah i'm not interested man wants to man wants a girl who's covered up and sophisticated and thing not out here shaking her ass for for who if she's shaking her ass for me, then that's calm. But not like for everyone to watch on 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 her Instagram page or Snapchat. But yeah, that's just me. So yeah, <clears throat> some of you want to see proof, or some of you may may have an ex coming back, but you want to see that he, they they they're making changes and shit. So you want to see proof. The next card is love, adore, admire, enchantment. So some of you got love on the way coming in as well. But what I'm getting for this card is you guys need to love yourself, yeah? Whatever love that you're looking for externally, you need to find that internally, yeah? Once you find that internally, it will manifest externally, yeah? Because this is how manifesting works, right? But so whatever love that you want, you got to feel that yourself. So if you're uh, like, look in the mirror and say, I love myself. Or you say, you know, um, you're uncomfortable if you've got like, I don't know, a mole or a, um, a birthmark on your face. If you look in the mirror and say, I love myself, I love myself, and you love your birthmark or whatever. Some people hate certain bits of themselves, right? But if you start loving that part of yourself, yeah, it will feel uncomfortable at the beginning. But once you start loving yourself like that, yeah, on a deep level, it starts coming out externally. So you might start getting compliments and you might start... I don't know, yeah, you start getting compliments and other stuff because you're doing the work, you're loving yourself so other people start seeing you radiate that, if that makes sense. And love is the highest frequency there is in the universe. If you're vibrating at that, you're attracting, like, you're magnetic. When, <laughs> so, yeah, all right, we're not going to go into that anyway. But yeah, when you're in a loving energy, you're magnetic, innit? When you're in a low vibration, you're repelling, innit? So if you're walking around all vex and mad and unforgiving, you're pushing things away from you just to let you know so when you start forgiving and accepting you start magnetizing you start bringing things towards you yeah have to start telling you guys like have to school you guys <laughs> all right thanks yes i am the messenger i know <laughs> today present now in the moment this, uh, when I was shuffling the cards earlier, this come out and this stood out to me. I was actually going to 
use it as the card of the of the day. So today, listen, all you have is right now. Look, I'm getting mad, yeah? Like, I'm getting passionate. <laughs> all you have is right now, yeah? Tomorrow doesn't exist. The past is gone. All you have is right now. That's why they call it the present, the present moment, because it's a gift, yeah? You can, you can take steps to change in your future, yeah? Like planning, which is good, but you, you're not there. The past is gone. So whatever shit you're holding on to from the past, let that go, yeah? Plan for the future, but don't live there. You can set goals, but don't get obsessed and fixated on them. Concentrate right here, right now. Focus on your breath. If you ever feel that you're going backwards or forwards too much, yeah? Take a nice breath into your belly, hold for five seconds and let go controlled like slowly and push all the air out of your body this will help recenter you and help you stay present try to do this um throughout the day if you're very busy and chaotic yeah because the city has man running around like headless chickens and shit and people are distracted so when you're present you're 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 um you're concentrating you're not distracted you're here now like now <laughs> so yeah focus right here right now and I recommend you guys reading the book, The Power of Now by Eckhart Tolle, yeah? That was one of the first books I ever read. Um, ex access granted, social media, fake profile, hiding. So someone's stalking you guys. Um, so be aware of your social media. Some of you lot are just paying too much time on social media. And like I'm saying, again, social media, things that are free, yeah? Is, it, is wasting your real time. That's all I'm saying. The most precious things that you have, one of the most precious things that you, that you have is time. And people are out here wasting time on social media. Like people spend hours on social media doom, doom scrolling and not achieving anything. You think millionaires and that are wasting their time on TikTok? Nah, dog. Nah. So be mindful of your time, innit? You could be, instead of scrolling on TikTok for an hour, you could have been in the gym. You know, you could have went for a jog or you could have made that fucking salad. Yeah. Or you could have done the washing up instead of do, watching other people live their life on TikTok. Yeah. I'm getting mad because I'm not into all this technology and thing. People are letting technology use them and they're meant to use the fucking technology like this fucking iPad updated and it's doing some dumbness. Like I'm, gonna, I'm done with the technology, you know. L listen. John Connor would be so mad at you lot. Oh God, John Connor would be so mad. And I, I'm with him on that one. Because when Skynet becomes self-aware, you know what happened. They turned their missiles on us lot. And that's what's happening. Yeah, this is what happened on Mars. Yeah? And the asteroid belt that's in the solar system, that was a planet that got destroyed before. So they've jumped to Mars, des destroyed the asteroid belt, that was a planet, jumped to Mars, destroyed Mars, and come to Earth and destroying Earth. Don't you see the pattern? It's getting boring now. <laughs> so I'm a, like, if you guys are on my level of consciousness, you'll understand. If not, then you probably just think I'm just talking gibberish. But check out the planet Maldek. That's all I'm saying. And this is all information that got channeled to me, yeah? <laughs> Over the years. I should have really just went live because this is going to be a long video. I feel it, like the energy is just pulsating. Done. Completion, lesson learned. So there's a lesson that's learned. We just had a full moon, end of cycles. So things are deaded, like things are ending and the new is beginning. So you've come to a completion of a cycle. You've learned your lesson. Um, congratulate yourselves. So some of these uh, might have just broke up with a partner, just had enough in it. So that cycle's done. And make sure you, if you, if, what well, another thing is, yeah, I can just chat, you know, I'm on one today. What people do, yeah, is they'll break up from a relationship and jump straight into a next relationship and they're taking all the baggage from the first relationship to the next relationship because they ain't done no healing and sat with themselves or processed anything so when the other relationship and this is funny yeah because the other relationship is just going to be basically the same person incarnated in a different different body because you haven't learned the lesson <laughs> all right the next card is soulmate S similar friendship romantic partner so some of you have met your soulmate. There's many soulmates. We have one twin flame. But um, we have many soulmates and they're there to teach us stuff. And we're there to teach them stuff as well. We grow and evolve from 
having relationships with other people. So for them people that are antisocial and don't like relationships, they're not really learning much because they're just in their own world, they're just doing them, yeah? But you learn from being in relationships, you grow and evolve on an emotional, mental level from being in relationships, yeah? <clears throat> but some of you have met your soulmate or are gonna meet your soulmate and maybe um, settle down, maybe. See how it goes, man. Just go with the flow. Remember, start off as, as if you start off as friends and then it develops more, then just go with it, innit? Roller coaster, highest, highest highs, adrenaline rush. And I've been picking this up. Right now, I'm having, I feel like I'm on a fucking roller coaster, mate. Like, I feel like I am flying. Like, my adrenaline is pumping. I could probably run a marathon or something. My energy is just rampant. But my body is tired. Like, my mind is doing overtime and I could get shit. That's what I'm saying. This physical body is so restricting. Like, like I'm like five foot five, yeah, but my energy is like 10 foot. So I feel so restricted. It's mad. Like, Listen, if I step in a room, yeah, people know man's there, innit? I don't even need to speak. That's all I'm saying, innit? But yeah, right now, so right now I am doing um, not risky things, but I'm being a bit reckless, innit? Because my energy is pumping, innit? So I'm, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. If I was younger, I'd been out doing wild shit, innit? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. But now I might be, because um, I've got a lot of adrenaline, I be, might be working out in the gym a bit more, maybe a bit overdoing it and shit. But, you know, I've got a lot of shit to burn. The next card is Divine Feminine. Warm ladies. So basically, what we're do we the collective needs to do is he become your becoming your divine feminine. So hold yourself as a queen and a king, yeah, because we all like whatever, yeah, whatever. We need to start holding ourselves as kings and queens, yeah? Divine masculine and divine feminine. We both possess both masculine and feminine energies within us, yeah? Which make us whole, right? But they're out of balance because we have people operating from the wounded masculine and the wounded feminine. And that's all just from trauma. But once you start doing it in the work, you become, a, become aware of that and you start making the changes, right? Everyone has trauma. But you got somehow, and it's not even somehow, what hap has happened, they've, in, this, in the system, somehow they've flipped the... Um, the jet the the energies right so you have the women that's being more masculine and the men being more feminine right and you're being called to bring that back into balance the system has it out of whack that the awakening and what we're doing right now we're bringing it back into balance so um we're you're going to have a lot more men getting more in touch with their feminine side and becoming more emotional like remember in the 60s and that if you was a man you was told not to cry and you suppress your emotions do you know how damaging that is I've been there, 10 years, man, buried, buried shit, innit? I've worked through a lot of shit, but man, buried shit. Certain things, certain things happen, man, will bury that and man will crack on. But do you know how painful that is? Do you know how vexed and mad at the world I was? Man, listen, man could walk down the road and someone could just, some, someone could just get it. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, so we're, we're bringing the, the feminine energy back into balance, guys, because the masculine energy has been taking the piss out of the feminine energy for centuries. Like, check this, yeah? Why in every religion is woman less than the man? Woman is more superior than man. Women give life. So why in every sacred book women are less than? Women are more than. Women are God, if anything. Women give life. Just to let you guys know, innit? So know your place, innit? Just know religion has got you locked twisted. That's what I'm saying. Like, yeah, women, you've got... And it's about we need each other, masculine and feminine. Men need woman and woman need man. Yeah, this is what the ankh is. Yeah, but without that's how we procreate. That's what that's how you give life by procreating, masculine and feminine. When you come together, you become one. Do you know what I'm saying? The next card is lock, lock box, closed in, trapped, frustrated. So some of you use a feeling like trapped in a situation you are feeling very frustrated and you're feeling closed in, man. Some 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 people might be dealing with someone who's in prison or something. Um, but yeah, man, you've got to free yourself from this box, man. Whatever's keeping you trapped. Some of it, it may be a mental block. Like, oh yeah, you've got anxiety and it's stopping you from doing certain things. But it's all mental. Once you, con con once you learn to control your mind, you can control anything. So um, yeah, don't make, don't keep yourself in a self-made prison, yeah? The next card is recalling. 
reminiscing memories returning so i'm definitely resonating with that because i'm recalling my like teenage years when i was out on the road and shit so and i've been writing music about that as well um so some of these may be reminiscing of the past where you was how things were just um just just revisiting memories and um, some of you's got some healing to do there which is cool but you're going back some of you's are just stepping back into it and reviewing like painful situations which is good so give yourself some credit the next card is financial support, child, alimony, government. <clears throat> so um, some of you have got some issues with financial support and shit going on, like courts and stuff. Um, and try not to get too stressed out with it. Just like I said, be present. Don't overthink, oh yeah, I've got to pay this bill. and da -da. Just be present and take each day as it comes. Don't be getting worried about having to go to court and dealing with the government. Um, just be present and take each step as it comes when you're presented with the challenge when it's like the day then handle it as such the next card is journal writing diary keeping notes so some of you are being called to write down if you can't express how you're feeling write it down it's getting it out of you yeah some of you are good writers musicians poets um yeah and express that do that more because like i was saying re of recently my sacral chakra is just stimulated so i am horny as shit and i'm trying to channel the energy creatively so i've been writing a lot of music and i've been working on my comic um my second comic actually and it's almost done i've got i think i'm like uh i've got like 10 pages left but yeah so express yourself in any way you can um and also i recommend some of you guys starting uh, starting up your own youtube channel share your experience like through poetry or journaling um, because people can relate to that and people need help and guidance and someone that they can relate to because everyone's been through shit and going through shit and you don't feel so alone when someone's going through something similar to you, you know? And if you share that, then you're helping someone, isn't it? You're doing a good deed and it'll come back three times. <laughs> Over. <laughs> yeah. Um, come together. Reconciliation, spiritual union, soul contract. So... I feel this so bad this coming, you know. Listen, we've got reconciliation. You're going to have partners coming back. You're going to have soulmates coming back. Um, you've got soul contracts to deal with. Um, but it's all good, though. Just go with the flow. Like, as long as you're single, go out and have fun. Enjoy. Go out and date. Um, you don't need to be sleeping with bare people. That's not my thing, in it. But, like, you go out and have fun. Live life. Like... As long as you're staying protected and keeping yourself safe and that, go out and enjoy, enjoy life. Go and have fun, man. I'm not saying go out and be a hoe, yeah? <laughs> That's for you two men as well, yeah? Not just the gyal them. But go out and enjoy, enjoy yourself. Go have fun. Just be honest and straight up with people. It's about communication. This is why, yeah, communication is just a big thing that a lot of people need to work on. Me, myself in general, I've been practicing um, communication as well. But um, yeah, so just be communicating with people clearly, yeah? And if you, you're you not clear and you've got... Just don't be going into shit with bad intentions, innit? If you want to just be... Tell someone you just want to be, in it. Don't be going, oh yeah, I love you babes and this and that just to get in their knickers and then you duck. That's not game. Like, I remember man telling man about game and man's telling girl I love her after two weeks and that. And I'm like, fam, that is not game. You don't spit game... You don't tell a girl you love her after two weeks, fam. What? Like, yeah, it does happen, yeah? But not just to get in their knickers. That is not game. Some man spit that, act like they got game, but they ain't got game. Their game's dead, fam. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. But yeah, I'm getting getting a bit flustered. <laughs> Energy's a bit mad, fam. Like, that's what I'm saying. Wait, hold on. Let me just light up some more, more Palo Santo, because this is all mad. I should have just went live. I should have just went live, because the energy... I might even go live later on. Fuck it. Because the energy right now is just crazy. Like, I just feel charged <laughs> like adrenaline's pumping and that and i need to channel it somehow so i don't know uh cool but yeah anyway that's your reading guys if you feel it resonated you know you guys know what to do hit the comments and make sure you guys are, are protecting yourself man because the 11 11 11 portal was coming up in a few days so yeah the energy is going to be real intense and shit but um yeah i'm going to hit you guys up real soon anyway peace love and light tribe